Well, good morning, folks. It's 61 degrees. The southeast wind is in, and that's going to make a big difference as we get into the next couple of days. You know, the last couple of days have been so cool because of the north wind. Well, that south wind's coming in, and we start going to be seeing temperatures uh, rising over the next couple of days. So, yeah, it was a pretty nice day yesterday, but 72 was uh, very, very delightful. I mean, you're, normally we should be up to the mid 70s, but the last few years we've, you know, we've been up to the 80s and 90s. In fact, uh, well, that was back in 90, 71, but uh, we were at 95. It's a record high for the day. Uh, I want to thank uh, Scott Kennard uh, for sending in this picture, unless I misspelled that and it's Conrad. Um, but uh, he, he shot some pictures out in Kingsville, and the wildflowers are beginning to bloom. I and mean, you know, the wildflowers start blooming south. They start blooming in Brownsville, and they come up to Falfurious. Then they start blooming in Kingsville, and then it gets into our area. If you have some uh, that, that are really pretty, just send them to, to us. Um, uh, M P E R E Z M P E R E Z at ChrisTV.com, and we'd be lo look, looking forward to uh, showing them with, uh, with the rest of you. So there you see the temperatures now about five degrees warmer than they were yesterday at this time. Uh, the southeast winds are definitely going to be in. In fact, they're going to be a little bit stronger today, definitely 20 miles an hour. Tomorrow, probably up to 25 miles an hour as a storm arrives on the west coast. So the double-decker cloud cover, I mean, first we have the high-level clouds coming in from the west. We've seen this past three days. Then now, all of a sudden, you'll see low-level clouds. So all of a sudden, the stack of atmosphere on top of us is going to have enough moisture for a little bit of light rain activity. So I wouldn't call it a, a scary thing. i just say maybe you'll need the wipers for a little bit uh, as uh, moisture starts rebuilding into our area. Well, the east coast is digging out from their big storms. Now, it's very interesting how the west coast is going to be under the gun for three powerful storms in the next eight days. Here's the first one with the frontal system already pushing into Arizona. This is going to tail o trail over us, so it's not really going to come and change our wind. Nonetheless, it'll be close enough to our area that some showers are possible over the next couple of days, isolated showers. But the main event was right about here, and that one will cross into the uh, Rockies and really become a major storm for the Midwest over the next couple of days. So you'll notice how we're still on the warm side of things as everything deepens over here. Lots of cold weather. Now this is a, you know, as I mentioned, a March miracle. They need the moisture in the mountain areas. They're just going to get it very strong over the next couple of days. Southeast winds for us, a little bit warmer, up to mid upper 80s today. By tomorrow, you'll see 80s for sure. The frontal system here is uh, going to, like as I mentioned, going to get very close to us on Saturday, Friday, and maybe pop a few little light showers, but nothing to, to write home, of, you know, to get scared about it. But you will be seeing warmer temperatures. So we're looking for 74 today, up to 84 tomorrow, and an isolated shower possible at 2 on Saturday. High temperatures getting up in the low 80s.